Hello everyone, we will continue the topic log objects and in the previous video we discussed that log entries we can check through SM12 transaction code and log entries never never store into any database table because these are the temporary entries. So they always, always appear from the NQ server. If I will go to SM12 transaction code, if I will go to SM12 transaction code, for me, SM12 screen is appearing like this because I have the latest HANA system. But in your system, might be my you, but you might not have the latest system. So whenever you will go to SM12, you might see this kind of screen. But do not confuse at that point of time. You simply has to click on to the list button and you can check the log entries. Just layout change is there. Rest everything is same. But most important point in the projects, we do not have the authorization of SM12. Just think. SM12 is a transaction code for the lock entries. So you might delete the lock entry of someone else. So in the projects, yes, this transaction code is highly, highly restricted so that we cannot, we do not have the rights to delete the, because you might delete the lock entries of other users. So in the projects, we do not have the authorization, but yes, if you are able to see this kind of screen while going for SM12, no problem. Just click on to list button. And if you have the authorization, you can see the log entries. Now, now we will proceed up to our topic. So we have our next topic as a part of log object is log modes. Now, whenever we will create a log object depends upon the requirement, we need to choose either of this mode. So we have three log modes. What is first log modes? First one is read log. Second one is write log. Third one is enhanced write log. We have three log modes. First one is read log. Second one is write log. And the third one is enhanced write log. Read log is also called as shared log. Write log is also called as exclusive log. Enhanced write log is also called as exclusive log without cumulation. So we have three log modes. Read log is also called as shared log. Write log is also called as exclusive log. And enhanced write log is also called as exclusive log without cumulation. What is the default value for each log mode. For the read log or shared log, the default value is S. You can simply remember the first letter for shared is S. For the, the default value for write log or exclusive log is E. The first letter for exclusive is E. The default value for enhanced write log or exclusive log without cumulation is X. This one you need to remember. So the default value for read log is S. The default value for write log is E. The default value for enhanced write log is X. Now we will understand the meaning of each and every type of log mode. Now, before we understand the meaning of 
each and every type of log mode if i am using the word read or we are using the word display one and the same thing if we are using the word write or if we are using the word change one and the same thing in terms of log objects now firstly we will start with read log what is there in read log in case of read log other users can read the data or we can say other users can display the data because read is equal to display but they cannot change the data or we can say they cannot write the data in case of read log other users can display the data but they cannot change the data suppose we will understand this by example suppose i have two users suppose we have two users user 1 and user 2 we have two users user 1 and user 2 suppose my user id is user 1 and other user id is user 2 suppose i simply simply lock the order number 1 yes well, i lock because we all know yes we are going for data data i put a lock i lock which particular order number 1 1 i logged which particular order number 1 but by using which particular mode read mode i logged the data or i'll say i logged the order number 1 by using which particular mode read mode so now if other user user 2 means other user other user can easily easily display this data other user can easily easily display this data but other user cannot change that data because i put a log onto this order number one so in case of read log if i put a read log on order number one yes other user can also access the same to same data other users can also read same to same data other users can also display same to same data but it does not mean that user 2 can change the order number 1. That is not possible because I put a log. Yes, I put a read log or shared log. So it is shared by other persons. Other users can also share that particular data. But they cannot change the data. Change is not possible at all. Yes once i will release the log yes then other user can change but unless and until i logged it other user cannot change but they can display they can read because i put which type of log i put read log 